Yo, what's going on guys? Sing here again. Back at you with another video. Uh, this time I'm playing War and Order, man. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this game, but uh, I used to play this game back in the day, uh, like five years ago, six years ago. This was uh, actually my first introduction to games of this category, and I, uh, I remember having a blast, man. I really used to like this game. This is actually the game I was somewhat looking for when I was looking for Ebony. I was looking for a game like this, man, and um, yeah, you know, I stumbled across Ebony, and ah, uh, man, dude, the graphics of this game. I remember, I remember this game being a ton of fun, dude. Um, it, it's it's quite it's it's different in most regards from Ebony, but it's a similar concept. You know, you build your keep and everything. Um, it has a PvP element, and there's a throne and all that. Um, let me see if I can show you guys a throne. Uh, it's gnarly looking here dude and it's got see they actually do this where they like give recognition to like the top players and the top alliances and everything which is pretty cool and they do it in like a pretty cool way hey there's enough here is this enough oh i enough okay never mind um and same thing yo look how freaking badass their land looks here dude oh this is like intimidating like i don't want to go here <laughs> do you want to go here no not me and then like a random tile in there. Okay, that's kind of funny. Um, and then like marges are super slow going across the grassland or the, I don't know what you would call this, like the deadland or something. I don't know. But um, yeah, man. Oh, look, a dragon. That's kind of cool looking. But um, yeah, dude. So I remember playing this game back in the day, dude. And it was a lot of fun, bro. I had a blast playing this game. There was like, the PvP mechanics were super different. They have like, okay, so they have four different troop types here. Let me show you. They have uh, ground, cav, archers, and they have mages. And I remember mages being like nukers. Um, range also did a lot of damage. And then cavs were like, they had hella like defense and stuff. And they were fast. And same thing with infantry. And the battle mechanics were different in this game. Um, so like you could continue to send marches into battles like again and again. Um, and like your alliance like the way alliance wars happen like your whole alliance could participate it wasn't like a certain number of people like uh, like an engagement would happen like on a keep and like depending on how big your team is like you guys can just like keep on going and going and going into the battle and i remember seeing like dude i used to watch like these old youtube videos of these battles happening and like the whole alliance could participate like 40 50 people and it was just nuts bro like holy crap um but yeah, man, so I'm kind of excited to get into this game and, you know, like learn about it and just see how it goes. Um, the, of course, you'd like a warning, man, this game is also uh, pay to win, like there's packs in this game. Uh, and from what I've heard, it's not as bad as Ebony, but it's definitely like something you're going to need to spend on um, to grow uh, for sure. So there is that portion of the game. Um, and But that's all games in this category, but... You know, from what I've heard, it's not as bad as Ebony is. And, you know, we'll see, you know, as time goes on and as I learn about this, like how how severe that is. Um, I am curious to find out how severe that is, but, you know, we'll see. And, uh, yeah, man, so right now I'm just kind of getting things going. Um, I'm just K7 right now, bro. I'm a baby uh, going on keep eight. And, yeah, um, let's see. Yeah, otherwise, dude, I've uh, just been kind of like getting used to the interior of the keep, um, getting some buildings built out. Um, I'm trying to focus on more army camps and everything than I am trying to do like the resource tiles and all that. I wonder what level I can open this level 10. And yeah, getting used to like what all the buildings are. Uh, you get to pick like this beast over here. I picked the dragon, dude. The dragon just looks so cool. I'd rather do that. There's also like a panda. Let me see. Can I switch? Or show you yeah there's like this panda oh i can switch bro nice there's like this panda dude and then there's um this phoenix but i think you gotta pay for this guy and it's like temporary and then there's this pegasus and they all have these skills that get activated in battle so it's pretty cool um but i, I don't know the difference between what they all do so i'll find out as time goes on i'll share with you guys Okay, so every beast has a different effect. Tap the avatar to change your beast. It causes vigor when you send the beast to battle. Okay. You can attack castles and buildings and the beast gets XP. 
Okay, it automatically triggers until the vigor's at max. Okay, the bees can't be higher than your keep level. Okay, so there's a lot to this. I'll, I'll learn this more as time goes on. Um, and I'll share with you guys. But yeah, man. Um, just kind of getting into things here. Like learning the game a little bit. And I'm starting my alliance. So I'm here on server 1564. If you want to come join me. Starting an RSP um, in this game. And I'll tell you our alliance. Yeah, alliance is RSP. So just come check it out if you want to join. We're just getting started. And yeah, man. Um, I've been addicted to the puzzles, bro. Low key, man. Been going in. I need the speed ups too, which is partially why I'm doing it. Why I'm doing it, but dude, they're actually kind of fun. Don't don't shit on me for it, bro. I've actually enjoyed the puzzles a little bit. Um, they're they're not easy, man. They're actually not easy. Uh, hold on, let me upgrade this and this. I'll do one of these here. I'll leave it at that for now. I'll prepare this side and yeah let's see how it goes but um yeah it's like a tower defense thing <laughs> and and i've been having more fun with this than i've been that i ever did with MD puzzles bro all right let me put one on this side and i'll upgrade that okay maybe i'll put one more here just in case something slips through All right, looking okay. Let me upgrade the... Oh, I wanna quit. This is doing all right. What's going on here? It's not. Okay, let me put one more here. Upgrade that, press play. And then put an ice thing here to slow it down. Yeah. I'll put one here too. I feel so spread thin. I wanna upgrade these. Let me speed this up. Alright, I'll upgrade this one. Upgrade this, I guess. Oh, I'm alright. I'm good, I think. Upgrade this. All right, I know this isn't the actual gameplay, but I don't know. I've low-key been having actual fun with these. All right, this, this, oh damn. Did I get hit yet? No, I didn't. All right, doing all right. Let me just upgrade this just in case. Oh, there's a boss coming, bro? What's that about? All right, put this here. Oh, damn. What do I do about this boss, bro? Oh, shit. No, the boss wrecked me. All right, I got two stars. How do you get the boss, bro? I guess I got to delete some of the other buildings. All right, but anyway, man. That's the game, dude. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, but, uh, yeah, I'm just kind of chugging along in this game, figuring stuff out. Um, yeah, and, um, we'll see how, what it turns into. It's been kind of cool so far. And, yeah, like, check it out. Come join me again on server 1564, Alliance RSP, and I'll catch you guys in the game, man. Peace.